Hi everyone, it's Darla. It's Scrap Happens here. It's not Tuesday, but I do have a tip for you that I want to share with you today. I, uh, my upline, my up upline shared a cute card on um, our team page, and it reminded me of an old friend who taught me how to do this fold um, years ago. She has since passed away, so it was such a nice memory to have of her when I saw that card that Stella um, shared on our team page. Anyways, um, I want to share how you create that folded tree today. It's really simple and super cute. Um, so let's get started. First, I have two trees. This is the folded tree that I want to show you how to create. Um, and I'm going to do, you can use your dies. These are the layering circle dies. Um, you can use your circle punches. For this, I wanted it to be larger. It, this is the size. Um, so I am using a larger circle. And what I'm doing is I'm just, you could use a plate, like a little saucer, um, a cup. But what I, I just had my tear and tape out here. So it's a kind of not a perfect circle, but it'll be good for this demonstration. So I'm just gonna trace around it. Oh, I should have done the other side. That's okay. And then I'm gonna cut it out real quickly. Taking me back to elementary school. <laughs> So I'm just cutting it into a circle. And then I'm just gonna set this aside and I'm just gonna cut it in half. Normally I'd use my trimmer but I don't have it right here handy. But this works fine too. Okay, and then I want my main part of the, tr the tree to be in this color, but some of it is gonna, the poinsettias are gonna show on the other side. So you'll want to Make sure you pick something, a, a designer paper that you like both sides as a tree, or um, you, you can use cardstock as well. So you can make it um, like a narrower tree, or you can make it a wider tree depending on your folding. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna fold it in, and you're gonna do an accordion fold, and you're gonna bring it back. And you're going to fold it that way and then you're going to bring it back and fold it that way oh my it works if you score it too you can use your cutter to score it um, or your scoring board and then what I like to do is I like mine to pop up so I just add a dimensional to each layer. Another thing you can do to add dimension is you can ink the edge, and I'll do that real quick on the video just to show you the difference. Okay, so there's that tree. And then I have some soft suede ink right here, and I'm just going to ink the edge of my designer paper. Oops, slipped right off my finger. Okay, and then I'm going to fold it again. Now, with each fold, you're going to want to ink that edge. Oh, and you really, you could ink both sides of it. Things you don't remember until you do it. 
Then you're going to fold it back this way. And I think on this one, actually I didn't go over far enough on that fold. Or I went too far. That's what I did. So let me fix that. You can see here I went too far, so I'm just going to recrease it. So there, it's not over. Now, on this one, I think what I'm going to do is just trim this a little bit. Maybe a little more. I'm not a very good fussy cutter. <laughs> and then I'll ink that edge as well. Okay. And then put your dimensionals in. I use a lot of dimensionals. I like dimension. <laughs> if I could buy stock and dimensionals, I would. So there you have both trees. One is distressed to show more dimension and one is not. I also wanted to show you another tree that you can create. And I, what I did here is I used my scallop, my largest scallop circle, punch from the layering circles dies to create this tree, which I think is really cute as well. So I have a pre-cut scallop that I've cut in half, and then I'm gonna go to the middle, and I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna cut this into thirds. from the same point, cut another one. Now, this one is a little larger, so I'm gonna make that my bottom, and then just go up from there. And so I'm gonna again, distress it, ink my edges, so it'll show depth. Another really fun thing to do is if you have like an, um, you could add some wink of Stella on the scallops. Uh, you could add some paste, some of our, I can't think of the name of it, but our paste that dries um, just a little bit on the edges to make it look like snow, and that would help it show the dimension as well. I'll be making some cards with these trees later today or tomorrow so I'll show you what I come up with. So again I'm going to add dimension with dimensionals and you can put them kind of at an angle if you want kind of give them a little Dr. Seussy Dr. Seuss look. <laughs> super cute so there's a straight one there's a crooked one aren't they cute I just love them I think they're super fun I'm so glad that um, my upline Stella sh shared this on our team page because it brought so ba back so many memories and it brought back an old technique um, to use again this year. It's been years since I've done this. So thank you Stella and thank you all for watching my video. I'll be back with next week on Tuesday with a Tuesday's tip. So if you like what you saw, hit subscribe so you don't miss another video. Follow me on Facebook, follow me on Pinterest, Instagram, and my blog, Scrap Happens Here with Darla.com. Have a great day and enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Bye.